everyone. We're back again to damage our souls and punish our minds with another heaping dose of cancer from the 11th circle of hell known as cable news. Remember when Brian Stelter said that it's a conspiracy theory to think that the Democrats and their media are trying to politicize the Wuhan virus. I want to ask you what you think is going on with, with these crazed conspiracy theories from right wing media. Or remember all the times that they've said that kids are off limits? Well, 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 you have to know that that it's different when they do it. These people who believe Trump over facts, over science, over anything, Trump supporters who, you know, God love them, they believe anything that Donald Trump said. Right. You may have people who are willfully refusing to check that sniffle because they think it's, it's not a true. Fraud. It's, a, it's, right. a, it's, it's a myth that's meant to undercut Donald Trump. And they still so, go to school with your kids. So, and they still so, go to school with your kids. And still was right. <laughs> The media is not trying to politicize the Wuhan virus. It's all just a conspiracy. It's one of those moments where you thought we hit rock bottom a long time ago, but then realize that we still have much further to go. Just think about what she's saying here. Beware these subhuman mongoloids who are carrying disease that will infect your kids. This is dangerous rhetoric that really harkens back to some of the most ugly racist dogma from the past. I mean, geez, they're really just putting a target on the backs of kids who might have parents that are Trump supporters. What if those kids are already being bullied? Joy Reid just gave them all the justification they need to increase that bullying. Or what about the teachers? Are the teachers now going to start targeting these kids? We'll get right back to explain exposing this latest media con job, but first I have an important message for all my viewers. Stephen King once wrote, Panic is highly contagious, especially in situations where nothing is known and everything is in flux. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves, long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. The experts at My Patriot Supply have told me that orders have now reached about a hundred times normal volume and they're shipping on a first come, first serve basis. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. I just can't even believe that this woman still has a job. Did they not just fire Chris Matthews, one of their longtime veteran journalists, for the crime of opposing socialism? Oh, and he once told a woman that she looked good. Something we never would have even heard of if the woman would have been attracted to Chris Matthews. We all know how that works. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a fan of Chris Matthews, but Joy Reid has done many, many things that would have gotten anybody else fired. However, she ranks very high on the intersectionality list, being a black woman. She could only be higher if she was trans or gay. It's a, it's a, it's a myth that's meant to undercut Donald Trump. This is just bad. Of course, Trump never called the Wuhan virus a hoax. And there's nobody out there that thinks this virus is not real. The issue that Trump addressed was the Democrats and their media fear-mongering for political purposes. This is just another lie that they're going to keep repeating until it becomes true. Just like when they claim that Trump called neo-Nazis very fine people, which never happened. Oh my god, did you just call it the Wuhan virus? Don't you know that that's astoundingly gross and racist? Oh, of course. Maybe you want to let CNN and the Chinese government know that. Reed wasn't done proving that she's a less than savory character, though. The very next day, she actually applauded a woman who cheated during the last election while she was working for CNN. We are not... We're not trying to prevent anyone from becoming the nominee. If you have the delegates and win, you will win. For defending your party in the most blunt <laughs> terms on earth to... <laughs> Donna Brazil, you win the week. Who are we talking about here? 
We're talking about the former employee of CNN who was passing along debate questions to Hillary Clinton in 2016. Anyway, it's really strange that Donna Brazile in particular would be so defiant against charges that the DNC is rigging the election. She herself admitted that she had proof that Clinton had rigged the primary against Sanders in 2016. What can you say? All these people are bought and paid for. God only knows why Fox News hired her. Now, back to Joy Reid. Joy Reid hates Republicans. She is filled with hatred for Republicans. Let me just go back and show you some of the mind-blowingly stupid comments she's made about Republicans going all the way back to the Bush years. MSNBC contributor Reid ridiculously slams gun rights movement as neo-confederate. MSNBC's Joy Reid links rodeo clown to GOP shrinking down to its most extreme elements. And in case you don't remember what that was all about, they're talking about a rodeo clown who wore an Obama mask. Yes, that was a huge national scandal when it happened. MSNBC panel. Republicans are like terrorists threatening to bomb the stadium. Again, if you don't remember, when Obama was president, the media regularly compared Republicans to terrorists and suicide bombers. MSNBC's Joy Reid, GOP shot a hostage by shutting down the government. Oh, and this one's interesting. Back when Obama was president, Joy Reid refused to call Putin or Assad evil. And in fact, this goes back to when Putin was invading Crimea, and the media and Democrats didn't really seem to care. It's only now that a Republican is president that they flip the script and pretend to be concerned about about Ukraine. Joy Reid, calling liberals racist is like a weapon that they've attempted to take away from black people. <laughs> Honestly, I could go on like this for hours, but I wanted to end on this juicy headline. MSNBC host Joy Reid says her new show won't be an hour of why Republicans suck. <laughs> That's all I have for you for today. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you want to support my mission, please consider subscribing to me on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.